Oh, hey, thanks for checking out my video on building the center channel speaker. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it and how I came up with the idea to build it. So uh, let's sit down and chat for a minute and then we'll go ahead and uh, look at my video. So I've been in a home theater ever since I was a teenager and it's just been a hobby of mine as you can see. But what caused me to actually go ahead and decide to build the speaker this time is a slightly less interesting story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Let me have a seat here. I run my theaters like I run my cars. I run them pretty hard. And sometimes speakers tend to blow. And depending on the speaker that I have, I've got different variety. Some are worth rebuilding, some are not. So in the case of the Cinema 2 that we have upstairs, the center channel blew out. It's quite an old speaker, so it was not one worth rebuilding. Now, the one down here in Cinema 1 is a fairly decent Infinity speaker, but not one that I really wanted to keep down here, so I decided that that one needs to go upstairs, and now Cinema 1 will need a center channel. Do I buy one? Do I build one? Well, everything that you see here from walls to ceiling to wiring to everything. I built this all by myself. The risers for the seats. Um, I took a lot of pride in building my own home theater. And do I build a speaker? Do I buy a speaker? I built a speaker in Woodshop in high school years ago. It was a, a, a down-firing subwoofer. I kind of got the idea of uh, what it takes to build it and to calculate the dimensions. And so I decided to take the undertaking of building a speaker, a high-end speaker, and uh, see if I can do it on my own. Being the car guy that I am, I wanted to design a speaker that kind of spoke to me as a car person. I like the aerodynamics, I like the edginess, and I wanted to translate that into a speaker that I think would be unique and eye-appealing. So, I spent about two weeks doing some research on finding some drivers that I wanted and uh, kind of putting together some, some box shapes that I thought were a little more unique than just being a typical box. And so, I uh, ended up coming up with this one design with these triangle cutouts for the, the speaker. I thought, you know, I've never seen a speaker like this before. It, it kind of spoke to me in the sense as a car, you've got the aerodynamics of it, but at the same time, um, the, the angular corners kind of, kind of spoke to me as like a, a, a scoop that you'd see on like a Ferrari, a Lamborghini or something like that. Those big scoops, like just big dark black scoops that just screamed edgy aerodynamic fast cool so uh, I went with that and so I came up with the design that you're about to see and I'm very happy with it it sounds great it looks awesome and if I did this again had to make the same choice do I buy a speaker or build a speaker I would totally do this again. I would, I would build this again. I think this is something that I can take pride in. I think it's something that will um, sound good. I think that this is a center channel that could probably compete with the four to $600 center channels. And I spent less than half of that. Just took uh, two weeks to design and another, um, well, it took me a week, but I guess six days of spare time to, to build and you know I'd say on the skill level I'd put this as an intermediate to maybe advance with the, um, the design and the, the cutouts because the triangles to get them right and to fit them in it, it definitely took some craftiness I had to build one box and then chop that box up to make another one because it just wasn't working I had to kind of learn what I needed to do to make it the way I wanted it but no more rambling. Let's uh, let's check out my video. Um, it'll be a very brief, express version, and you can enjoy the music. Definitely take a moment to 
Um, check out the sound quality after. I do want to warn you that there is a sound sweep that I do from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, and uh, you might want to watch the level of uh, volume level on your speakers because uh, it, it does start to scream at certain points. I know what you're thinking. How can you really hear the quality of a speaker when the sound quality is only as good as the microphone that's recording it? Well, I've decided to remedy that the best I can because I have this Zoom Q3 recorder that uses uh, condenser mics. It's a very nice recorder. And this should really give you an accurate idea of the sound that comes out of this speaker. I mean, it's amazing. Now, I will say that the sound sweep that I do from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz does kind of mess with the, the microphone a little bit towards, you know, when we get above 10,000 uh, hertz. But you can kind of get an understanding of where we're going with this. It, it sounds great. And um, I really hope you enjoy it. But make sure you stay after for the sound test. I do a couple songs and then I do a picture slideshow. I will say that when the video transitions from the speaker to the slideshow, it does go into a uh, recorded version. Um, but anything before that, you might think it's a recorded, dubbed over song, but it's not. It's actually coming from the speaker. Um, it's just that amazing. So I wish you could be here to hear it, but um, I hope you enjoy the video. I enjoyed making this speaker, and I really was happy to kind of share this build with you. Oh, and for all those experienced speaker builders out there who might find reasons to rag or uh, uh, bash my build for whatever reason, just remember that, you know, this is my first build and, you know, uh, it's a learning and growing experience. I enjoyed doing it. I think it's a beautiful speaker. Did I learn a few things? Yes. Are there some things that I do differently in the future? Yeah, definitely. Um, and speaking of uh, future speakers, uh, I do have some ideas and plans to build a matching floor standing set of speakers. So hopefully sometime in the near future, I will uh, share that experience with you. So once again, you know, check out my build. And I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoy watching it. And I look forward to seeing any uh, comments and likes and even a few subscribers. So, wait till next time on my floor standing speakers. Can't wait to share that with you. Hopefully sometime in the near future, but we shall see. Thanks again. Check it out. And yes, please like, share, subscribe. Give me some feedback. As I'm sure a lot of you know, I'm a, I'm a Fiero guy, so I gotta get back to those car projects. It was fun doing this one. There's a change of pace, speakers are cool. I'm an audiophile at heart, got a lot of kids, so I don't really get the same audiophile setup and experience anymore, but this was fun. Now I gotta get back to the garage and get back on those Fiero projects. So until next time, take it easy.
you ready for some power mixing on the digital turntables? Are you ready for some power mixing on the digital turntables? Now it is time to let the techno DJs power mix the bass. Are, 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 are you ready for the mega frequencies?
justify all the hurt inside Guess she knows from the smiles and the look in their eyes Everyone's got a theory about the bitter one They say, yeah, mom never loved that much And daddy never keeps in touch That's why she shies away from human affection But somewhere in a private place She packs back for outer space And now she's waiting for the right kind of pilot to come And she's saying to you She's saying to you Signal that she's hanging all the hopes on 